here it is, right here. McChicken, here's the McDouble, and then the filet of fish What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here, and I'm coming at you with another food review. Sorry for the sudden camera angle change. Hopefully, this is a once ever attempt to do this. We are here at the McDonald's in Canyon, Texas. I just got out of class, and so I came to McDonald's to try the McLand Air and Sea Burger, or sandwich, or whatever you want to call it. Technically, there's beef on it, so I call it a burger. What you do is you get either a Big Mac or a double cheeseburger, cheeseburger, you can get a quarter pounder, it doesn't matter. Any type of meat, you get a filet of fish and you get a McChicken and you combine it to make a secret menu item called the McLand Air and Sea. So here it is, right here. So here's the McChicken, here's the McDouble, and then the filet of fish. And you guys know what's in my cup. I got this for free. Say it with me, everybody. Texas style. Yeah, so I got a free sweet tea on McDonald's. For some reason, the manager just said, here you go, you can have this. And I was like, woohoo! Put the burger on top. Put the chicken in the middle. And the filet of fish on the bottom. And the thing said I could customize it any way that I see fit. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to take the filet of fish off and uh, as well as the top or the bottom bun for the McDouble and we're going to see how this works out. So I have a layer in between. So there we go. Let's go, shall we? Mmm. Okay, right off the bat, the thing that I taste the least is probably the McChicken. I get a good beef flavor, as well as a fish flavor. I really thought the fish was going to be disgusting with this, but I like it. I like it a lot. The fish overpowers the other two. Without further ado, let's do the pros and cons here. The pros here are, that's actually surprisingly a good combination, a good triplet. This is the Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman. Michael Irvin of the McDonald's industry. The fish surprisingly tastes well with everything else. I thought the fish was just going to be disgusting, but the fish actually holds up pretty well with the other two. This is actually good resale value. I might actually get this again just to freak people out. They're going to be like, oh, God, why are you eating that? Another thing is this is a great secret menu item if you guys ever want to review it guys let me know down below on facebook by twitter snapchat what you guys think about this cons here are this thing did come to almost eight dollars this is what eight dollars looks like of course it's three different meats so i would understand why it's eight dollars i can't really taste the chicken i think anything you put in the middle you're probably not going to taste it very well because the top of your mouth tastes the burger the bottom of your mouth tastes the fish so any combination that you put i bet anything in the middle is going to be completely ignored just like me in the middle child yeah another con here is is out of all of the secret menu items I think this one is my least favorite my favorite one is the poor man's big mac and then the mcgang bang and then this this is the only third secret menu item i've tried at mcdonald's so this is ranked last sadly another con here is you have to get it yourself like some mcdonald's they can't do it for you they're like what the hell is that because when I checked the popularity, it said medium to low. It wasn't very high. Like, not a lot of McDonald's know about this. So you're going to have to customize it yourself. Which, I mean, could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. But for me, it's kind of a bad thing. Because I didn't know how to do it. Because apparently I did the make gangbang wrong. Is what people are telling me that I customized it wrong. On a scale of 1 to 10 piglets, I'm going to have to give the McLand Aaron C from McDonald's. This bad boy is getting a 7 out of 10 points dot due to the price. And due to not being able to taste the chicken. But other than that, I recommend it. You can hit that subscribe button right there to become a piglet right in the shiny area. And stay in touch with my videos. You can also go like me on Facebook, follow me on via Twitter, Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. And always remember my little piglets. Call them pork chop. Loves y'all the most. Has had to drop that. Y'all take it easy, guys. And I'll see y'all next time once again. Leave me recommendations where you want to see me. And you could get a shout out in the next food review. Bye, guys.